Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about evaluation of even and odd parts of a signal. So in the last lecture, we have seen that any discrete time signal x of n can actually be expressed as a sum of even and odd components, right? So even if a signal does not exhibit perfect symmetry or anti-symmetry, it can still be broken down into these two components. I hope this thing is clear to you. We have covered in the last lecture. Now, and we have also seen the formula to, you know, to calculate the even component and odd component of a signal. So here we are going to prove that. Fine. So we already know x of n is equal to what? xc of n plus x naught of n means even component and odd component, right? So if you replace n by minus n in this equation one, then it will become what? x of minus n is equal to xc of minus n plus x naught of minus n, right? So simply we are replacing n by minus n. So this is my equation number two. So you know like, right? Since this xc of n is what? An even signal. So you can write like this xc of minus n is equal to xc of n. Even signal condition, right? And you know like x, x naught of n is what? Odd. So x naught of minus n, you can write like minus of x naught of n. This two things we have already seen in the last lecture. Point. Now let's move further. So if we have to replace this by this and this by this. So let's see the next. Now equation two will become what? Now equation two will become, will become what? See x of minus n x of minus n is equal to so instead of xc of minus n write xc of n so xc of n okay plus x naught of minus n write minus x naught of n so this will become what xc of n minus x naught of n Hope this thing is clear to you. So this is what equation number three. So now simply what we have to do in first part, let's add equation one and equation three. So what I'm doing here is adding, add equation one and three. So add equation one and three. So it will become what? x of n plus x of minus n right is equal to so x e of n plus x e of n that is 2 x e of n right and x naught of n minus x naught of n means cancelled so what is pending here 2 x e of n now from this statement you can say like x e of n is equal to what? This is equal to 1 by 2, okay, x of n plus x of minus n. So we have proved the first part. This part is what? Even part. Last lecture we have seen this, but proof is here. So this is what proved, even part of a signal x of n is equal to what 1 by 2 into x of n plus x of minus n now we have to calculate the odd part for that what we have to do simply is subtract equation 3 from equation 1 simple right so what i am going to do here is subtracting subtracting equation 3 from equation 1 
So if you subtract this, so what you will get x of n minus x of minus n is equal to x e of n okay plus x naught n minus x e of n plus x naught of n you will get something this okay so you can see this and this cancelled now what is pending here this two terms right so it will become 2 x naught of n and here we have x of n minus x of minus n so from here we can calculate like x naught of n is equal to what 1 by 2 1 by 2 find x of n minus x of minus n so this is what an odd part to calculate the odd part okay i hope this is clear to you so hence this thing is what proved here and it is proved here so we did a evaluation of even part and odd parts of a signal simple these two things we have to prove we have seen the formula directly in the last lecture but here we have proved this fine now some points you have to consider like this see here some important points that you have to consider like product of two even or two odd signals will become what even signal and product of even and odd signals will become what odd signal okay and last every signal need not to be either purely even signal or purely odd signal but every signal can be decomposed into some of even and odd parts so we have already seen this statement in different way so i already explained you but i have not used the term like purely even or purely odd i have used the term like perfect symmetry or anti-symmetry but i have covered this point already fine so i hope this much is clear to you so that's all about the evaluation of even and odd part of a signal in next lecture we'll see the numerical based on this so thanks for watching this video please subscribe our youtube channel